Hey everybody, Sean from Media Assault here. And it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I would uh, give you guys all a Christmas present that I'm sure was well wished for. Um, I'm going to do a review today of a movie that uh, I have recommended to pretty much everybody I've ever talked to about movies who have any interest in music whatsoever. So I talk about doing music reviews and I talk about doing movie reviews. This is going to be sort of a combination of the two with a book review kind of thrown in on top. So, um, And they're all about the same thing. It's about Anvil, the story of Anvil. And uh, this is a documentary. This came out in, uh, it was made in 2008. I saw it the summer of 2009 in the theater. And you'll see at the top of the DVD there, maybe if you can read that, it says this is the greatest movie ever made about rock and roll. Uh, and I don't want to throw a whole lot of hyperbole into this review, but I'd have to agree with that. Um, this is a movie about two guys, Steve Kudlow and Rob Reiner, uh, not to be confused with director Rob Reiner. He's, this Rob Reiner, Reiner is a drummer um, and one of the best drummers in the world, um, as far as I can tell. Um, well, okay, there's some hyperbole there. Um, but uh, basically, these two guys met at the age of 14, and they formed a band, and they kind of made a pact with each other, saying, hey, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a band, and we're not going to stop till we make it. And basically what happened is they finally reached sort of a plateau of success in the early 80s, and they influenced all these bands. Uh, some of them you may have heard of. Slayer, Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, Guns N' Roses, uh, you know, some local little independent bands that nobody's ever heard of. Um, unfortunately, Anvil never took off. Um, and there are many reasons why that happened. And the movie doesn't really get into why they never took off, just the fact that they never took off. But Rob and Lips, uh, Steve Kudlow, his nickname is Lips, they made this pact, and they never forgot that and they stuck to their guns and they continued to make music and they continued to try for damn near 25 years to make it and the movie documents the heartbreak uh, that they've gone through but more importantly it talks about the perseverance the dedication uh, just the mental attitude the positivity that these guys have had I mean they've had their ups and downs as far as being able to deal with each other but the movie documents the fact that they made this pact, they've stuck to it, they, they, their families, for good or bad, have stuck with them, and they've tried everything they can to make it. And um, they kind of come off as a real-life Spinal Tap, and that was part of the promotion for this film, uh, that they're sort of like a real-life Spinal Tap. But these guys are dead serious, and they're talented. They're, they're not a joke band. This isn't... It, it, some of their exploits may come across as funny, uh, but these guys are dead serious about making it as heavy metal stars. Even today, in you know 2010, you know the movie was made and filmed in uh, 2005, 2006, and finally completed in 2008. Uh, so you know the late 2000 uh, aughts, I guess you'd call them. Um, you know, these guys still want to make it as a heavy metal band, and that's probably even more challenging today than it was when they started, when metal was in vogue. So they've got an uphill battle. Thankfully, this film, it, it like I said, it talks about all the uh, you know perseverance and the dedication, but ultimately the film is about triumph, uh, and I won't spoil what happens. Um, but you may have heard of the film um, if you're at all involved with documentaries or music, and. If you're watching this video going, oh, I wouldn't be interested in this, it's about a heavy metal band, I don't care anything about heavy metal, it doesn't matter that this is about heavy metal. It doesn't matter that you don't like heavy metal music. The appeal of this film is universal. I, I would swear to that. Uh, if you can't see that these guys are dedicated and um, really honest to goodness, trying their hardest to do what they feel is what they should be doing, then you just don't get it. Um, 
But one thing I'd like to recommend, uh, see this film ultimately first. Uh, go out, rent it, buy it, borrow it, steal it, whatever you have to do, see this film. And then after you see the film, go out and track this down. And this is a book that came out a year or so after the movie came out. And this is, same title, Anvil, the story of Anvil. Um, and this, you know, has some pictures. I don't know that you'll be able to see too much on the camera. Um, but it documents the band. Uh, and it gives a lot more background on how the film came to be, how the band came to be, um, a lot more history about the band, a lot more into why they possibly didn't make it, a lot of the things and forces that conspired against them. Um, so if you're into the movie, get the book, because this is like an additional commentary. Now there is commentary on the film, I have not listened to that yet, I'm going to save that because uh, I just watched the movie again on DVD uh, and I just finished reading the book, so I may be a little overloaded on Anvil at the moment, but I will watch the commentary. But this is fantastic, the book is great. Um, so I highly recommend both of these, the book and the movie, and you know, if you're into either one of them or both, then go out and support the band. They released an album which is documented in the film called This Is 13 that was released initially by the band and then picked up by VH1 Records. Go out and buy that. Support the music. Uh, support these guys. They deserve it. And uh, that's all I can say. So the movie, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 wholeheartedly. The book, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Fantastic on both fronts. Um, so there you go. Anvil, the story of Anvil, literary and visual, both coming at you. Um, and I am recording this on Christmas morning. It's like 3 in the morning uh, on December 25th. So Merry Christmas to everybody watching, all my subscribers. I appreciate the support. And uh, thanks again, everybody. Merry Christmas.